Hi guys, Karen here with my next iPad lettering tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can practice your lettering on your iPad with my brand new practice sheets. You can find me as always on Instagram under at iPad lettering and then also on my website which is iPadLettering.com. Alright, so the first thing we need to do to get started is we are going to import the practice sheet and you do that by clicking on the plus sign and then import and then choose the location where you've saved your um, procreate practice sheet file uh, in my case I just saved it to iCloud Drive and you see here it's got the little procreate logo and it's called practice template dot procreate this is a reasonably large file so when you click on it it might take a little while to import um, so you just have to be a little bit patient but we are going to be there in a second and then again when you import the file into procreate it takes quite a long time to load because it has got a lot of layers and so the first thing i want to show you is how the file is set up so if you click on your layers icon you can see here um, that I have made a separate layer for every letter um, and then at the top there is a couple of spare layers where you want to do your writing you don't want to write on the layers with the letters otherwise you're going to overwrite it um, so I just made a couple here but you can make as many as you like now let's have a little look to see what we have so you can see there is one layer for every letter We've got lowercase letters and then here we've got all the uppercase letters as well and if we go to the bottom you'll see that there is all the numbers here as well and then the last layer at the bottom is just the guidelines so now um, if i'm turning off all my layers like this you can see that we only have the guidelines left Right, so now let's do some lettering. Let's get started. So again, make sure that you've got a new layer like this that's blank. And then you turn on the um, letter that you want to practice. So in my case, I'm just going to start with an A like this. And um, choose your brush. In my case, I like using the soft aqua brush for this. But you can use any brush that you like. It doesn't really matter. Um, and so what I recommend when you first start is actually writing your letters reasonably large. This is how I started. And the nice thing about my practice sheets is that you can just zoom your letter to be as big as you would like it to be. And then you can start tracing it. So now I'm going to trace it. Like this. And just try and really... Um, quite light on the upstroke and then more pressure on the downstroke lighter on the upstroke again so lots of pressure on the downstroke and then slow down and then light pressure on the upstroke and again And this is how you can practice all your letters. So now what you can do as well, either you can carry on tracing the letters and then once you're comfortable with tracing the letters, you then use a new line and then you write the letter yourself without the, um, without the example like this. And then you can also start concatenating the letters. And so you can write pages and pages of the same letter, if you like, until you're really comfortable with writing it before you carry on with the next letter. And so now we're happy with this and say, OK, now I want to practice the next letter. So we are going to just clear the layer and now we can start again. And maybe we, we're going to practice B's now. So again, just make sure that you do have a, a new um, layer for this. And then, you know, we want to choose a new color as well, because why not? So now we can do Bs. So you can see here the upstroke is really thin, and then the downstroke is quite thick. 
and you can practice this as well. Like this. So depending on, you know, whether you want to practice the letters pretty quickly, you can either fill the whole page with one letter or you can just turn on different layers and that will reveal more letters as well. Now once you get to E and then you want to practice F, you'll see that if you turn on F, it will overlap the A, So, but what you do is just turn, on, turn off the A layer and then you have F there. I've set it up so that you can have five letters on one page. But it doesn't mean you have to keep it that way if you don't like it. So what you could do instead, let's say you wanted to have a whole page of Bs, you turn off all the other layers. I'm going to clear this. And you select your B layer and then um, select the layer like this. And then make sure you turn the magnetic setting on here. And then you can just move your layer to the top like this. And then you can um, start from the top and fill the whole page if you like. So you can see here you're actually really flexible with these practice sheets. Um, you can set them up exactly the way you want. You can come back anytime and practice the letters that you're struggling with the most. Or you can just go through the whole <coughs> alphabet and, um, you know, keep practicing that way. Right, I think that's all for now. Um, I hope you're having fun with my practice sheets. As always, um, if you have any questions, please contact me on Instagram, either on um, at iPad Lettering, or you can send me an email. My email address is info at iPadLettering.com. Until next time.